This is part 49 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss using regular expressions with some of the JavaScript string object methods. Here, we have a few of the JavaScript string object methods with which we can use regular expressions. Along with the regular expressions, we can also use these modifiers to specify the kind of search we want to perform. To perform a global search, we use letter G and for case insensitive search, we use letter I and for multi-line search, letter M. Let's look at a few examples of using regular expressions along with these modifiers. Let's first look at an example of using match method. Here I have a string and notice this string has got four numbers within it. Now what we want to do is retrieve all those numbers from the string and then write them to the web page. So I'm going to use document.write method. So this string is present inside this variable string and string object has got match method and if you look at this method the first parameter it takes is regular expression so we want to retrieve all the numbers from this string so we have to tell that to the match method and we are going to tell that using a regular expression regular expressions must be inside forward slashes and now we want to tell the match method to give us the number and to specify that we want a number we're going to use this regular expression backslash d plus so basically this regular expression is telling that we want to retrieve a number which has got one or more digits in it with these changes let's save it and load this page notice that we only get the first number but we want to retrieve all the numbers from the given string that is we want to do a global match and to specify that we want to do a global match we use this modifier that is letter G. So at the end of the regular expression, let's use letter J. Save the changes, reload the page. Now notice that we get all the four numbers back. Now let's look at an example of using replace method. Let's say, for example, these numbers are confidential and we don't want to display them as is on the web page. Since they are confidential, uh, maybe we want to mask them with a different string like xxx. And to do that, we have replace method um, in JavaScript. And if you look at this replace method, it has got two parameters. The first parameter is the regular expression. So we already have the regular expression. And the second parameter is the replacement value. So we want to replace the numbers with this string xxx. Let's save these changes reload the page. Notice that we get the original string back but with the numbers masked with the replacement value that we provided to the replace method. Now let's look at an example of using split method. What is split method going to do? Split method will split the string into an array of substrings but obviously we'll have to specify to the split method the criteria based on which we want to split the string. So if you look at split method, you know we have to specify the separator. Okay. Now here we are using a regular expression to specify the separator. So this specifies that wherever you find a number, split the string. Okay. So we're going to use just the separator there. And let's get rid of the second parameter. Save the changes reload the page. Now notice that wherever it finds the number it's actually splitting the string. So that's the first string, that's the second string, that is the third string and that is the fourth string. So wherever it has found the number it has split the string. Now instead of using a regular expression I can also use you know a string literal like this. So wherever you find a space split the string. So let's save the changes. Now when we reload this page, notice that it splits wherever it finds um, you know, a single space character. Now let's look at an example of using search method. What is search method going to do? Search method is actually going to return the index of the first matching item if a match is found. If a match is not found, then it's going to return minus one. Now let's say we want to search. Again, with search method, we can use a regular expression. 
backslash t plus is going to specify a number so search method here is going to look for the first match so the first match is found here so this index position is 22 so let's save the changes reload the page notice that we get 22 back that is the index position of the first matching item for example let's say um, you know if a match is not found then it is going to return um, minus one let's say I want to look for an item a number with 20 digits obviously we cannot find that number in this string so when we load this page notice that we get minus one back now let's look at an example of performing a global case insensitive match let's actually modify the string so here Tom has got both capital and small letters and here let's say Tom is 35 all small letters and here let's say Tom is in London all capital letters now let's use the match method now, what we want to do is retrieve all the occurrences of this word Tom now if I just use Tom like this so that's a regular expression now let's save the changes load the page notice that it only returns one occurrence Tom an exact match from the given string now let's say we want to retrieve all three occurrences of Tom so that means we want to perform a global case insensitive match now if I try to search for something like this Tom with T capital M capital and O small we don't have uh, Tom with that um, combination in this string so when we reload this page notice that we don't get anything back we get a null back okay now I actually want to perform a global case insensitive uh, match so for that we can use modifiers G and I let's save the changes reload the page notice that we get all three occurrences of Tom from that string Thank you for listening and have a great day.